great Louis Armstrong once said, music is life itself. And that's certainly the case with an inspirational project underway in Sydney. Music's one of those sort of elements in the world that uh, everyone can connect to in some way. Matt Ralph's job is making music with some of Sydney's sickest kids. Often, even if a child can't um, see the instrument or even hear the instrument, they can still feel the vibration of the music. It was a moment where me and Kalani could forget all the pain and suffering and we would just start celebrating and just be overwhelmed with happiness and joy through music. It's a chance to um, sort of feel the humanity in a very clinical environment. Matt's mission is to give the families of critically ill children one of the most precious mementos possible. I mean, the heartbeat has its own natural rhythm, so it, it um, is a, it's a lovely accompaniment to um, like a song that is meaningful for them. He records the heartbeats of young patients using a digital stethoscope and blends them into a special composition. The heartbeat travels um, you know, as the lead instrument. It's such a powerful sound, and because it, it is intimate and it means so much, the music just is very delicate and follows along um, with a theme of their child's favorite song. That moment I shared with him and Kalani where we all heard her heartbeat, and obviously I didn't think back then how special it would be and what an amazing gift this would be for our family in the future. Charlene's daughter Kalani was just six months old when she was diagnosed with a brain tumour. She just always had this beautiful little sparkle in her eyes and um, her whole face just lit up when she smiled and her cuddles were the best. <laughs> Kalani endured brain surgery and 51 weeks of chemotherapy before losing her battle. A life cut short at two and a half. But her heartbeat lives on. The heartbeat reaffirms that while my memory of her is fading, she was here and she did have a heartbeat and um, it just reminds me every day to be grateful. Charlene put the recording into teddy bears to the siblings Kalani left behind. They listen to their sister's heartbeat and, um, and it just reminds them every day as well um, that their sister was once here and she had a heartbeat just like they had a heartbeat. It reminds me of Kalani, the memories and holding her. And for me, it's just, um, it's something for me to cuddle and listen to her heartbeat beating close to my heart. They place your baby on your chest and you, your heartbeats are kind of beating together. So it's just that kind of reconnection again that it reminds me of. It's the same for Mariam Zaffa, whose daughter Zoya passed away three years ago. Music therapy became one of the most important parts of our stay there. She had this favorite harp. Um, and Zoya's hand would be on top of the harp, and the minute that strumming started, you could feel that positive energy flowing. She would be all smiles. I feel very lucky and energized um, most days when I listen to it, because in the end, you're just left with memories and toys and clothes which belong to her. But this recording is so real, it's, it's a living part of her that I get to keep. Which is why the project holds such a special place in Matt's heart. So I feel very honoured and, uh, you know, I feel like it's a very precious time. I hope that the heartbeat music gives, gives the families a soundtrack for remembering their child and, and um, you know, reconnecting. With the tears, it's more um, tears of happiness happiness that I can still connect with her in some way. It's a beautiful idea. It is, yeah. And it's great that it makes them happy rather than devastated, because you could easily imagine that happening. <laughs> You're looking at me. It's, I think it's like, it's so beautiful. It is beautiful, yeah. Equal parts devastating as it is, especially for the gifts for their sisters. Yeah. What a beautiful idea, because it's so hard for a child to process how they're feeling and their yeah. grief to be able to cuddle a teddy and feel connected to this. I feel like music is unique for that, because it's such a, like, music's very associative. Like, there's yeah. a reason you love the songs you listen to when you're a teenager, because you can smell that moment yeah. and so to create an association with a moment like that is just it's uniquely powerful isn't it what a beautiful project yeah it really really is